It's called fantasy math. And the way it works is whenever I'm somewhere that has like shitty Wi-Fi or no Wi-Fi, think like a plane, a train, what I like to do is think about like my last high paid gig, like my last like bonkers money gig. And then I like to calculate how much money I would have made if I made that every week for a month and then every month for a year. And then I just kind of let my mind wander and I dream about how much better my life would be <laughs> with all that money. <laughs> cool, okay, so let's... <laughs> Let's rewind like two years ago. I'm on a train with a comic I don't know very well and he sees me playing with my calculator. He takes out his earbud and he's like, what are you doing? And I explain the rules of fantasy math. <laughs> and he's like, so you fantasize about having a salary? Liz, that's a job. Just get a fucking job. That's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Then fast forward, the pandemic happens. I'm on unemployment for the first time in my entire life, and it's like pretty good money for me. <laughs> Seriously, I, dude, I don't get I don't get money every week. Okay, you remember how they were like, hey, if we give people that don't make a lot of money too much money, they might not want to go back to work. That's me. I don't want to be here right now. It was the best goddamn time of my life for like six weeks, and then I started to get super paranoid. I was so scared my bank was gonna call me up and be like, hey, Miss Mealy, there's been some suspicious activity. Somebody keeps depositing money in your account every week. Are you like robbing tiny banks? I don't know, we miss our overdraft fees. If you could call us. Actually, we're Chase, we chase you, you don't chase us. You know our motto, uh, chase out. Like. 